I'm going to teach you my do-it-yourself stay-at-home facial. I am not holding anything back. I have lots of gorgeous products, including my Ritual of Cupping Facial. Ladies, let's get this beauty started. I am going to be putting my hair back. This is so much fun, ladies. As a licensed esthetician, I obviously am obsessed with skincare. I am wearing my beautiful Aria robe. This is available on HSN. We have some gorgeous robes. You might have seen me on HSN as their brand ambassador talking about loungewear, sleepwear. This is a perfect time, so comfortable and bright and you know, kind of giving you a little boost. So I am going to show you a lot of products, a lot of alternatives, so stay with me and you can take notes on this. I wanted to show you what you could do that was a little bit more pricey and then what you could do that was going to be more of a drugstore option. So I wanna take you through, this is going to be a little elaborate for a facial, but guess what? We are at home, we have time to do this. We have time to pamper ourselves. We have time to really just indulge our senses, our everything when it comes to a do it yourself at home facial. So I have this little headband that Elemis sent me years and years ago and it has my name on it, which I thought was so nice. So it was monogrammed. So I'm gonna just put this on. I'm using a makeup eraser. These are wonderful. If you don't know about them, you can literally wet this have a full face of makeup and literally take it off with just the water. But I'm gonna use it more as a washcloth today. Um, and we're gonna start off first with a double cleanse. So what's important about this is that even though we're not going out and wearing tons of makeup or you know our routines have changed, it's still important to do a proper cleansing. And I love doing a oil or a balm first, melting all the oil and debris, pollution, makeup that I am wearing, and then going into either a cream or a gel cleanser, depending on your skin type. So first I'm gonna start off with, I, I just, I was sent this product, but Elemis had a sale recently and I stocked up on this rose cleanser because I love it so much. Now this is a balm, meaning that it's a nice thick balm cleanser. It is going to, Oh, it's so it's infused with this rose that I just love or I have this Corez. This is wild rose makeup melting cleansing oil It has real rose petals in it also. So this just feels very luxe on the skin This is moisturizing if you have dry skin This is a really great way to push in more moisture really cleansing the skin properly So first I'm gonna put it on dry skin. You don't put it on wet. Don't wet your hands Just put it on with dry hands and work this into your skin. Now, this is a great opportunity to be able to do a little bit of a facial massage when you're cleansing. So you can work it in. Really, it just nicely slips all over the skin and it just feels just so good. You can take this over the eyes. If you're wearing eye makeup, if you're wearing mascara, it takes it all off. And then if you're wearing any lipstick, just go across and it just melts it all off. So now I'm gonna just take a washcloth and I'm going to take it off. Now I'm gonna take the Ever Rebalancing Gentle Purifying Cleanser. This has salicylic acid in it. I like that because it's really going to exfoliate lightly my skin. This is a nice product because it's clean beauty. And I've been using this for the last four years. I love how my skin feels. I love how it really rebalances my skin when I test out a lot of products and start breaking out. I will always go back to this product because it really nicely clears up my skin. So we're gonna just use this as your second cleanser, working it in, concentrating on your T-zone. Now you can take this down on the neck and the decollete and really do a nice workup of the product, but for film, filming purposes, it's not gonna work out really well if I started doing that. So just know that, of course, your face does not end at your jawline, it ends at your decollete. So you would want to treat your neck and your decollete also, but I have a robe on and I'm limited with my space, so I'm not doing that right now. I'm just removing the cleanser. Now, now I'm gonna go into exfoliating my skin. Now you have a couple options here. 
You can use a physical exfoliator, meaning you have granules in your product that are going to help buff the skin. Or you can use a chemical exfoliator, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, any kind of chemical exfoliation. So today I'm going to be using, I'm going to show you an alternative, but I love Gold Fat and MD Doctor Scrub. It's Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. I found this years and years ago. Um, and for some reason, this is like the perfect this is the perfect synergy of this product. It's not too grainy. It's not too rough on my skin. It buffs it really nice. So I get a really nice exfoliation. So my other products, serums and moisturizers are going to penetrate into my skin. So I just use a little bit. I'll just go onto the sides, like, or on my sides of my cheeks, just kind of moving the product around. And then I will tiny bit wet my fingertips and then I will work this product into my skin. Now, if you wanted to have a very gentle exfoliator that is on a chemical level, which means that it has azelaic acid or it has fruit acids in it, is Ever Reveal Biomedic Peel Pads. I really love these, very simple to use, gives you just a little bit of a tingling. Uh, the caviar lime is beautiful in this product. So this is just a little pad that I use on my face my neck and my decollete, and then if it's still moist, I'll use it on the back of my hands because I have some sunspots on my hands and I want to kind of keep treating them. Now, when you purchase this and you want to refill it, all you have to do is order the refill packet like I did this morning, I just took these out and put them in. So you, it's not wasteful, you're not constantly ordering the actual product, you're just replacing it. So it's only one product, not a lot of waste, not a big footprint. So I'm gonna just tap into my water and I'm going to just use circular motions. I really concentrate on my chin, my nose here, and then a little bit of my cheeks and then my forehead where I see where my pores are getting a little bit bigger and you know more congested. So this is what I do, but I do a light touch. I am not, it's not about going hard on your skin and, and if harder's better or if, or if it hurts, it's better. That's not true at all. So you want to basically be gentle on your skin. You know it's your largest organ. You wanna take care of it. You wanna preserve it. You don't wanna beat it up where you're like, oh, I'm oily, so I'm gonna just go to town on my skin or more is better. That's not true. So I'm just nicely buffing my skin. I'm really concentrating on the areas that I feel are my problem areas. And I don't do this for a long time. I don't over exfoliate. I don't over exaggerate this whole process or this step. So I just use it a little bit on the areas and then I will wash off my skin. What I really like about this is that I don't have granules all over my face. Once I remove this, they're off. They're not rolling around. You're feeling them when you're putting your moisturizer on. That's one thing that's really nice about this exfoliant because I've had so many where they just don't come off. They just keep going and going and you can never get that feeling off of your skin and it makes me crazy. So how do you really set up the stage for a do-it-yourself home facial? How do you make the spa come to yourself? So basically what I like to do, because I didn't really highlight this at the beginning of the video, is that candles are wonderful. I have a new salt little plugins that I have. They're Himalayan salt that I put in and it purifies the air. It gives me this really beautiful glow in my bathroom. I also have essential oils that I love, whether you want to have lavender or you want to have rose, beautiful to just put in, a, in your water. You can put it, run the bath and put it in the bath so it kind of you know, kind of permeates while you're doing your facial. Also, I just recently bought this on Amazon, Elevate Your Mind and Body Aromatherapy Mist. This is eucalyptus and spearmint. So what I'll do is I'll put the shower on and then I spray this over into where the head is, where all the steam is, and I get this beautiful eucalyptus spearmint. It's just really like, it just feels like I'm at the spa. So those are some of the things that I like to do to kind of introduce the spa into my, my bathroom at home. So I kind of feel a little bit more you know, lux and kind of like I'm, I'm giving, giving, giving myself a little bit of an escape. So now my skin is nice and smooth and it feels amazing. I'm going to do a little steam on my face. I'm using this Kinga, this, I got this on Amazon years ago. Um, it's linked actually, I have a, in my bio on, I'll link it below here, but on my bio on 
Instagram, I have shop my favorites. So I've categorized everything for you very easily, like best in beauty and like all the products I talk about and where I bought them and everything. So that made it easy. So I have my steamer on and I'm going to go into that now. So with this little steamer, I usually have it on my table in or my vanity and I just keep it just farther not far enough away from my face that it's not too hot you don't want to have a very hot steamer too close to your face again if you have broken capillaries or you have rosacea this is not something that you want to do you don't want to aggravate the skin but if you have normal skin oily skin combination skin this is a great treatment to do i just like to kind of center myself and do a really nice um steam on my face and it just feels so good So I'll do that for about five to seven minutes. And then after my steam, I'm going to put on an oil. Now remember the lightest product to the heaviest product. That's the way that you apply serums to moisturizers. So serums are always gonna go first and then you're going to apply your moisturizer. So I'm going to show you that I have the Caudalie Premier Crew. This is a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful dry oil. I really like this because it's not greasy. It's very luxe. It's a little bit of a higher price point. Um, this is um, rose with, they are in oak barrels. So this has a little bit of that whole common denominator of rose. I also have, which I've used since two, 2006 or 2016, I've used this Corez Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil. This has brightened my skin considerably and I really love it again it has the rose petals at the bottom real rose petals are in in this product it's a dry oil it smells incredible I have gravitated towards this for so long and this is like I don't even know what bottle this is anymore and I have four in my vanity like lined up waiting so I never run out of it so that's like a mid price point with this and then you can get this at the drugstore this is derma e this is a anti-wrinkle treatment rose hip and grape seed oils vitamins a and e a very nice oil also very much of a lower price point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the Premier Crew from Caudalie I'm gonna put a little bit in my hands and I'm going to apply this to my face this is what I apply before I do my cupping so now I'm gonna be doing my cupping which is if you're not familiar with cupping for the face this is something that's going to detoxify it's going to drain lymph it's going to really move around the fluid in the face if you have puffiness if you have just feeling like you need your skin to be revived if you feel that you want to contour your face this is a really great way to do it now the misconception is is that cupping like the body cupping that you've seen all the athletes or you've seen Gwyneth Paltrow that have the big circles on their back from cupping that's different because that's static they're basically putting on a cup they have heat in it or it's they put the there's some coolness in it and they put it on and it stays and it basically draws out all the impurities so that's not what we're doing we are applying an oil to the face because we're going to keep moving our the cupping so there is no stagnation it's not going to pull all the blood in one area it's going to keep it moving through the lymphs detoxifying purifying and just moving through the lymph area. All your lymphs are in this area here, so you wanna basically be moving out and down. Again, on the neck, you can do the same thing, and on the decollete. So I'm gonna show you two different things that I have. I've shown this before, but this is my face and body. This is from Lure Essentials. This is face and body cupping system. So basically, they give you in this package for the body, which I love. This is more on the body. This is more on the body put an oil on your, after you get out of the bath, put an oil on and just move that fluid through in your hip area and your buttocks area and your legs. It's so great. It feels so good if you've been working out a lot. Um, it's a wonderful treatment to do for yourself. So this is, I'm gonna show you for the eye and the, the um, face. You have little eyes and you have, a li you have one for the face. So these are silicones. So this medical silicone, and you have the baby ones for the eye area, not as much suction, and then you have the face ones here that have a little bit more stronger suction. Now, those are if you want to use with silicone. 
I like to use, these are the ones I use professionally. Lure also makes these too. These are glass cupping system. I just feel like I have a little bit of a stronger pull with the glass. And I also like cleaning the glass just with my um, alcohol wipe, which is really nice. So this is for like the decollete area. This is the one I use for the face. So I'm gonna show you how I use this product. It goes without saying if you have open lesions or you have acne or anything that is inflamed, do not use this. You have to have healthy skin to be doing this. So what I'm gonna do is, what you're gonna squeeze this ball. So you put it on the face, you're gonna squeeze, it creates a suction as you can see, and I'm gonna just move it, move it towards my ear. Moving all of this fluid, you'll see a lot of blood flow to the skin, which is really nice. So you're gonna get a nice rosy glow. You're gonna get a radiant looking skin. You're toning your skin. You're moving all of this fluid. You're making your jawline more prominent. This is a really beautiful, beautiful, like massage and, um, you know, just a little treatment. But this has been around forever, ancient times in Egypt. This is nothing new, it became more popular recently. Um, but I just love how it feels. Tension if you have TMJ, if you have grind your teeth at night. This is really like a beautiful just treatment to do. It's so inexpensive and so easy to do. You can do this for, you know, five, ten minutes, depending on what your objective is. But this is my cupping and how I do it. Now remember, I stay a little bit lower on the orbital bone here. I don't wanna go underneath where all this delicate eye tissue is. I don't wanna suction that up. So you wanna just always keep this moving. If you stop this on your face, yes, you would have bruising because it's pulling all the blood in one area. But if you keep it moving, you keep it nice and just flowing, you're going to not have that problem. You can use it on your neck also, same thing. Just grabbing it and bringing it down. Now I'll take the little one with the silicone and I'm going to just do flushing like this. I don't drag this around my eyes. I do not drag anything around my eye area. So I'm going to just take this and give it some extra blood flow. So I'm just literally squeezing, let go, squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go. So you're not really affecting this area. I'm not taking it and dragging it out, dragging it in. I've seen that before on, on YouTube. I personally would not be doing that. This eye area is way too delicate. I don't need to move that around. And then what I do is I'll just take a little alcohol pad here and I will just clean my glass cupping and you'll you'll feel you will be so addicted to doing this in every like three days or so um, it makes you feel so good your skin has this beautiful glow radiant face is lifted face is toned it's like a little workout for your face now after this i will go right into masking i love the uh, natura by say this is the intensive shock uh, moisture mask love this product use it all the time my skin's always needing moisture if i want a little bit more of a brightening glow this is a metallic mask from ever this is also really cool that's going to give you that brightening it's going to give you moisture also so i'm going to just apply this with my fingers while i am masking i will show you another thing that i bought recently to kind of create this spa environment and kind of just relax and kind of just kind of have an escape and something to look forward to i got shower steamers because not everyone takes a bath and i didn't feel like you know what i have my i didn't feel like i wanted to always take a bath to kind of enjoy like a spa experience so this is from um this company it's funny it's called twisted tomboy made in the usa shower steamers this is peppermint eucalyptus and lemon it's breathe easy so these these are basically like a bath bomb but it's for the shower so it's not for the bath at all and there's three of them in here you can use one for two showers mm, smells so spa like i mean you're in instant spa in your shower when you put this you can put it down near the drain or i put mine where the soap is so the water just kind of trickles on it a little bit and you get that whole it suds up but it gives you this really beautiful aromatherapy so that's something that i like to do also to kind of create this environment i have a sleeping lip mask here 
that I will put on now when I'm just kind of masking and giving my extra hydration to my lips. This is a really neat one um, that I found a while ago. It's for all, all skin types, but this is a nice lip uh, lang. I think it's lang. I don't know. I'm saying it wrong, but I'll link it below. Really nice, not heavy, greasy, too much. It's just really nice hydration. So I'll do that. My mask is on. Sometimes also too, I like to take a face mister. Caudalie has a wonderful one called um, Beauty Elixir, lots of aromatherapy. Jolique has one, this is from Australia. This is a rose water balancing mist. Or you have one that you can pick up at the drugstore, which is a witch hazel facial mist rose petal. This is really nice from Thayer's. Then I will just kind of give myself, I'm gonna use the rose one. Just gonna give myself a little. Mm. And then I just let it dry a little bit. Even though it's over my mask, I'm just kind of, you know, enjoying everything. I might give myself a little hand massage while I'm masking. I use, this is my Caudalie also. I bought a bunch of stuff. They also had a sale. So I bought a bunch of other stuff. They had 20% off friends and family. So I'm putting this on my hands because they've been washed a million times. And now they have like all of these like paper cuts everywhere, which I'm paranoid about now. So it's like gloves on, hands are super dry. So I've been doing this. I'll give myself a nice little treatment while I'm masking and listen to some nice classical music, which is my favorite, and just kind of really enjoy my space and just relaxing. I mean, it's all these little things that I kind of do to set up to have that experience in the spa. And now we'll take off the mask. Again, with the mask, you can take it down on your neck and your decollete area. That's what I do when I'm at home doing this. So it's really nice because you're treating your whole face, neck and decollete, hydrating, exfoliating it's really nice so now that my skin is nice and hydrated it's masked I'm gonna put on a little eye balm this is also a reservatrol from Caudalie I've been using this for years and years and years I like it because it's a lightweight balm goes right into my eye area it feels so good it's so hydrating and I really enjoy the fact that I can see a difference and it's not heavy and goopy in my eye area so I wanted to talk to you about a couple different options in case you weren't up for cupping. So there's a couple different things that you can do that are also inexpensive. Now I have a ice roller, which is going to also depuff your skin. This is something that you pop into the freezer. You can roll this over your face. This is really nice. I do this in the morning. I find that it wakes up my skin. It feels absolutely incredible. So it's a stainless steel head. You can take this off, put it in the freezer, then pop it back on. Sometimes it'll squeak. You put a little oil because of the, the metal and or the coldness in the plastic, and then you roll this over the face. This is a really great under $20 option for you. Um, I really enjoy doing that all the time in the morning, definitely underneath the eyes. It just really is a nice cryotherapy to add to your facial in the morning, or you can add it in now. I also got these, which are these jade stones. This is called Gua Sha. This is a really beautiful way to also be moving the lymph, the fluid, toning, tightening. And you can see they all have different grooves. This came in a little set. So this is all different parts of the face that you can use this on. And it just, you can see how the groove just kind of goes into my cheekbone and underneath it. Also on the jawline, this is really wonderful. If you're watching Netflix, sitting around watching TV, you pour yourself a nice hot uh, tea and you sit there and you can really do a beautiful facial massage using these stones. You can use all sides of this. You can use, it just feels amazing. So if you're looking to do something that's kind of rhythmic and kind of relaxing when you're just just sitting there you could be reading a book you can be watching tv you could be staring at the wall or out the window like i have sometimes when i'm sitting there in my office thinking it's just a really beautiful um, option for you lots of different ones you know that you can really work you know depending on this is really great if you have real sore jaw area you could just start you know using it really kind of just giving you know figuring out what works for you so this came with um, I think it was five different pieces. So just really pretty, just really nice. I mean, just every part of this, you can use a serum and push it in with these different jade stones. So this is rose. 
um, of course, right? It's my rose gua sha. And I'll link everything below again. I found those. And then there's another thing that's very simple and easy. So say you're just like, you know what? I just want something to roll over my face. You can use these to do the same kind of thing. It's just really just toning, tightening, moving the blood flow, moving, detoxifying with the lymph. It's really nice. You can use this. This one you can use really everywhere, but this is also really nice. This is great for back pain, for facial tension. That's a really nice. And then I want to show you something though, because Lure, the same one for the cupping, also makes energy supercharged ionic cups for trigger points. Now this is something that I do when I'm at my desk, uh, when I've been working out, I've been rowing a lot. This is something that you use that look like this and literally you put them on, you press down in the center and it stays on your back like that. So this will cause bruising. This will, cause you're keeping it there. So I line them up on my, on the top of my back. I do them on my lower back also. And the, the bruising just lasts a couple days, but I'll put them on my, on my back here. And they feel it basically just relieves all that tension. So easy. I'm applying them to myself. I don't need someone to apply them for me. I just apply them on my back and I put them in just like this row and they, and literally it just melts away the tension. It feels a little like itchy when you take them off because you're pulling all that blood flow in there and you're really detoxifying. But I just feel like with everything that's been going on and like trying to work out more and everything that these are a great um, alternative to not being able to get a massage or get acupuncture and or any of that kind of therapy. So those are really nice. Um, I've been using these a lot more than I have in the past. So now that my face, I give you some alternatives, I'm going to be putting on, um, usually at night, I'll put on this beautiful product that is a firming serum. It's also Reservatol for all skin types. Caudalie makes this. There's something about this product that smells so good. So I put this on my skin. I love what my skin has been looking like in the morning, very hydrated, very not feeling like, oh my gosh, do I need more? Did I not put anything on last night? So I'll put on a beautiful moisturizer. This happens to be a serum. Also, I can put on another moisturizer over this if I want to, if I feel like my skin needs it. And then the way that I finish this off is that I will take one of my, I'll take my beauty elixir and just shake it. Smells like lemon, smells like just, it just euphoria, just, just really getting you into this mindset of calm, of taking care of yourself. And maybe this is something new for you that you haven't done before. Taking care of yourself, allowing yourself to feel pampered, allowing yourself to have the time to do this. This is, you know, this is important because you need to be able to show up to feel good, to project that, to have a higher vibe than feeling, you know, down and not very, you know, you're not taking care of yourself. You're not putting yourself first so you can take care of everybody else. I know we all know about the saying where if the oxygen masks drop in the plane, you're supposed to put it on yourself first so you can help other people. This is the same thing with self-care ladies. This is what we're doing for ourselves to really help us feel better in a time like this. Take the time that we haven't taken before. Know that we're worth it. Know that we're worthy of being able to take the 10 minutes, the 15 minutes, the, the half an hour, the hour of taking a bath, of, of doing little things that aren't expensive. This steamer is not expensive that I got on Amazon. Um, the the um, little cuppings aren't expensive either. This is all affordable. You can choose what products you want to use that are in your skincare budget. Um, there's lots and lots of different options. I will link options below too that from some of the little bit more pricier products. But ladies, I really want you to just experiment with doing something like this because I know a lot of you haven't done this and this is a perfect time to do it and to really love yourself and to see your skin looking amazing, detoxifying, regenerating, giving yourself that facelift. And until my next video, I'll see you later.